what's going on guys back at it again with another fallout 3 video so in the last video essentially what we ended up going or doing is that we ended up meeting this lady called lucy she wanted us to deliver a message over to a town called arafu but what we ended up finding out is that the little town is actually being attacked by a group of individuals that like to call themselves the family uh, and during this whole attack situation, the West family, Lucy's family, ended up getting murdered with the exception of her brother Ian. And that's where we're at now. We're basically trying to find Ian. So hopefully we can find him. We have a couple of loca possible locations. We're going to be checking those places out. And hopefully we ended up, uh, end up finding him. So we'll see how that goes. If you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed as well because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this gameplay. Alright, what's up Mr. King? Uh, I don't even know where we're supposed to go exactly. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our world map. Hideout. I mean, the Seneca Station isn't too far from us. Can I... Alright, so it's northeast. Alright. So let's go ahead and make our way down there. It actually seems like the closest place uh, closest place to us. So if you're wondering how we got those locations, uh, we actually got those locations by talking to uh, Mr. King, uh, Evan King or whatever his name is. And he told us three possible locations where they might be. So that's where we're going first. Got to make sure we're going the right direction though. I guess we can just follow this road. And I put that in. I'm kind of nervous about going through here because of the radiation, but screw it. We're doing it. Hurry up. We're not trying to get radiated. All right. So this place that we're going to on the map, it seems like it's the closest place to Arafu. So we're going to go check it out. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully, uh, we, we guess right the first try. I hear noises. I'm not sure what it is, though. Alright, looks like we're clear, though, of whatever the hell it was. Alright, this looks like a little town, actually. So we gotta prepare ourselves, because for all we know, this place is covered in raiders. Or hell, even the family. They already sound like fr pretty ruthless people after what they did to the West family. Oh, it's a subway system. What's the other places anyways? So we got the uh, Northwest Seneca Station. The Hamilton's Hideaway, the Moonbeam. All right, let's check this place. You never know; it could potentially be here. All right, we gotta be careful, cause the the family could be literally anywhere. Let's check in here really fast. Oh, I thought this was a bathroom. What is that sound? Oh god. We got mole rats. Ah! There's too many of them! Is that it? No. Come on, vets. There we go. Bam! Bam! Last one. Dunskies, homie. Oh, it is bathrooms. All right, cool. We found the bathrooms just in case we want to go, you know, take a shit or something. Oh, please give me some stim packs. Uh, one is better than nothing, I guess. Well, it doesn't appear to be nothing in this direction. So let's go ahead and go the opposite direction. Hopefully we find something a little bit more interesting, like a dead body. Alright, I'll take those two. 
definitely don't. You're not, not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Bro, I don't even know who the hell you are. Steal your secrets? Not at all. Wait, what secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet obvious for you. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. Way to go. Ultra Jet, that's some kind of a super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Uh, sure, fuck it, why not? Let's make drugs. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. <clears throat> Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. Ooh. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Yep, I'm down. Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. Definitely wasn't expecting to fight a, a drug manufacturer here. No, You're talk to me. For a problem. Oh, shut the hell up, dude. I'm over here helping you guys out. Don't get me started, bro. Mind box? Sure, why not? Empty, empty, empty. Nothing. All right. Anything over here? Where does this lead to? Oh. Fuck it, let's check. Oh god. This is gonna get me killed. Got some dead Brahmin though. Meyer lurks! Could we even kill this thing? Oh god. Nope! Run away! Actually, you know what? Come on. Wait, do I have to equip it again? I hope it kills them. Oh! Sick. Let's go ahead and while we're here, I hope that's enough. It's, it's good enough. Do I hear another one? If we're going to be going through all of this, dude, we're basically going to have to just book it out and out of here, dude, because... Hold on. Alright, both of the... Wait, hold on. There's a third one. All right, we're shit. Oh. Run! Ah! Uh. Uh. I'm stuck. Do I have any more? Oh no. Uh. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. We're yoloing. What's up, bro? Ow! Wow, that's a hardcore stagger, dude. Luckily, we have that, uh... That perk thing that allows me to, uh, heal my things. Look at that, I'm already using up all my stim packs, dude. Crap. I really... If we see another Mylar, dude, we're, we're booking it, dude. We don't have the firepower to be able to do anything about this. Oh god. Oh my god, that was that was fuck. Maybe we should sneak. What the fuck? There's so many traps around here. I'm going to die. Where the hell could we go? All these traps, it kind of feels like we're making progress, though. You know what? I have no choice. 
I have no choice at all. Oh, I see you. Here, let's... Damn it. <laughs> I'm screwing this up pretty bad, aren't I? Oh, no, there's another one. What the hell? It literally just drops some meat. That guy doesn't seem like a bad guy. You. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell oh, do you we, think you're going? We found him. Uh. I'm wondering what I could do with all these spare caps I have. Sounds like an interesting problem. Let me take a hundred of those off your hands. You know, lighten the load. Fuck. Um. Sure. I suggest taking the door around the corner if you want to get where I think you're going. You'll find it unlocked in a moment. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Uh, what is this place anyways? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. I'm so glad I found him. All right, tell me about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. I can see you're wearing combat armor. Like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You need to chill the fuck out, bro. She's trying to be friendly here, all right? Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Shut up. <clears throat> Watch it, will you? Well, the good thing is that I found the family. You can open the door or what? Sledgehammer. Uh, I'm not trying to steal in front of this guy, though. Anything interesting around here? No, it's all freaking... It's all set to owned, so I'm not trying to do all that right now. Who is the guy that he told me to go find? Vance, I think it was. All right, we gotta find Vance then. Yo, Vance! It's probably that dude up there. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to him, dude. Before we end up getting into some problems. Oh, it's not even a dude. That's a chick. Well, what was this guy? Welcome oh, found him. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Uh, this place is very different from any other settlements I've been, or I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. The hell does that come, uh, mean? We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Disgusting. So you're reforming these people? Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Uh, if I accept that you're no longer cannibals, what the hell do I call you then? Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? <laughs> cannibals. <laughs> uh, I honestly, if I can't, if I, if you're not a cannibal, I have no idea what the hell you are. History you would have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. 
return to me when you are ready. No added a uh, family family terminal password Do it. we passed the terminal downstairs so let's see if that terminal will have any information all right the five laws of the family the first law the first law Feast not on the flesh. Consume only the blood. This is our strength. We do not eat the flesh of those we kill for food. We will only drink of their blood and leave the, blood, the body intact. The consumption of flesh is filthy and unclean. This action is what causes the humans to treat us like animals. We are not animals. We are the family. That still sounds pretty disgusting. Second law. The second law, bear not the child, welcome only the exile, this is our fate. Is, he, is this suggesting that Ian came to them on his own accord? Because we carry the stain of our past in our bodies. We can never let it pass to our offspring who would in turn carry out those foul actions beginning the cycle anew. The family must seek the wasteland. For others of its kind in order to maintain itself this or that is our fate third law they seem more like vampires the third law feed not for pleasure partake only to nourish this is our dignity we only kill the humans when we are hungry or when we must defend ourselves we never hunt for sport or pleasure we do not prey on the children, for they are not yet tainted by society's views of us. The family will not tolerate murder. So then who the hell killed uh, the West family? The fourth law. The fourth law. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadow. They, these guys sound like vampires. This is our refuge. Because we are uh, creatures of the night. We must not set foot in daylight. We move silently across the ground only under the watchful eye of the moon above. At the, rise, at the rising of the sun, we must seek the embrace of the shadows and never again gaze at its brilliance. The family seeks the dark as its refuge. refuge. They definitely sound like vampires. The fifth law. The fifth law. Kill not our, our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Above all, no member of the family will ever take the life of another member without the consent of the current leader. Anyone disobeying this action, the most heinous of all of our crimes, will be exiled from this place forever. We must not let our own inner demons cause us to fight amongst ourselves. We number only in the few, and we cannot risk extinction. That's crazy, dude. All right, let's see. Feeding grounds. These are the perilous times for the fam. These are perilous times for the family. We must feed, but not. But the wasteland is a dangerous place. The only way to feed without massive loss of life is by getting close to the smaller human settlements. We will therefore use cunning and stealth to achieve our goals. No one is uh, to forcibly enter any of their homes. We must keep our actions civilized and uh, it's the only thing keeping us from being the animals they claim us to be. This is directly contradicting the events in Arafu. So this is getting interesting. Oh, well, here goes. Regarding the Arafu incident. Uh, regarding Arafu. I do not want an incident like this happening ever again. I was very clear that we are not to represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's Brahmin was an act that was both unnecessary and potentially damaging to my work. I am dealing with a very delicate situation in this town and I will not have it undermined by actions of revenge on humankind. Our time will come, I promise you, Vance. That is interesting. So they, it sounds like they really did kill 
the Brahmin, but they didn't kill the family, the West family. So you this is interesting. Yes. You wish to speak to me again? Uh, I finally understand what you people are. Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. You guys are fucking what vampires. <laughs> Uh, I still say you're cannibals. I don't think I'm going to go there, dude. They'll probably destroy me. If I said vampires and you said I was right, we'd both be crazy. Um, I'm going to go with the bottom one. Wait, hold on. Is there more? I think you're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. <laughs> um... I think it's between this and this. I uh, will go with this. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. So they don't actually believe that they are vampires. Essentially is what I'm get, gathering out of this. They're just living in the vampiric lifestyle, if you will. But they don't believe they're actually vampires. Uh, you do this by teaching them they are mythical beings. Uh, you're doing here is brainwashing. Come on, Vance. You're on a power trip. I'm kind of curious. So you do this by teaching them their uh, mythical beings beings now you disappoint me you need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment i have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh but to drink of the blood most importantly they have a family a place where their quirks are tolerated and understood this is interesting so what is this place exactly you are standing inside Moresti. The home of the family. This is our sanctuary from the outside world. It is a refuge for those society labels as outcasts. Like the Brotherhood outcasts. Do Are they allowed in here? So tell me about this family of yours. The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside. We all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than mere friendship. That's that's definitely interesting. So, now that we have sparked this conversation, uh, I think it's appropriate for me to bring this up, but I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Have you seen him? Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter for, for him from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Wait, yeah, wait, wait a minute, dude. What the hell happened? I still want to know about his family. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Oh, shit. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Are you telling me Ian is an actual cannibal? I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us. A member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Damn. Please, you must let me speak to him. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Interesting. 
Oh god. Vance's sword cabinet key? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Hold on. So hidden. Let's just try it. Fuck it. Stop, thief. <laughs> Oops. You wish to speak to me again? I uh now that I have a better understanding of the family, may I speak to Ian? I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to Ian. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. So I have no idea what the hell just happened. <laughs> the common area of our home is our guest. So first he says <laughs> that uh, we're pretty much not allowed to speak with him because we would taint him and all this other shit, right? And then out of nowhere, I pickpocket him. I get caught. He takes my shit. He calls me a thief. So basically, I lost all kind of rapport with him. And then now we're magically friends. I don't even know where I'm going. Is this it? Unlock security area door. Uh. Alright. Are you Ian? You are Ian. Hey, talk to me, dude. How do you get in here? Magic, homie. Huh? What do you want? He's a kid. Uh, I've been looking for you. You're a bitch to find, dude. Well, maybe that's because I don't want to be found. Why the heck are you looking for me anyway? Uh... I'm sorry, uh, fuck. He already knows because he's the one that killed him. So, I'm here to take you home. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? I know what you did. Vance told me everything, dude. It doesn't matter what happened in the past, dude. Of course it matters. The past is what's keeping me up at night. That night is like a bad dream. I've been some parts of it, but I don't remember what happened. It was the fucking hunger. The thing that's haunted me my entire life. Look, Ian. I know loss too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the fucking answer, dude. So let's see. Uh... Well, maybe I can help you. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. She's no not gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. I bet it will change your mind. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Hell yeah, we did it. Hell yeah. So, now we gotta t talk to Ian, uh, or talk to Vance. He's probably not gonna be happy. He's probably not gonna be happy at all. Vance, you're doing what's best for these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Or dead. You always have had a knack for making me feel better. It's the least I can do, Vance. You give so much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. Hello there, stranger. Sounds like they got I something going on. Your talk with young Ian went well. Yeah, it went excellent, actually. I'm quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? He did. Uh, actually, this is a this is very important. Uh, before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Arafu to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Uh, this is true. Do I have medicine? Uh. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, 
I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital wounds. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Huh. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. So it looks like we have two options for them to leave the town alone. But this one and this one are slightly different. This one they donate, this one they will send them to here. But I like this one in exchange for the protection. Agreed. Please take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, Good. What of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Uh, Ian's decided to leave the family. Oh, God. He's probably going to want to fight us. Um... All right, yeah, fuck it. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather... This guy, ooh, shish kebab schematics. This guy, this guy was honestly very interesting, dude. Is he gonna go talk to Ian? I gotta hear this. I think he's gonna go talk to Ian. Look, Ian's getting out of bed and everything. Oh no, they're not. I suppose this is... Yeah, no, they're not going to talk. Oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and go back to Mr. King. Hopefully, I don't get destroyed by my lurks if they respond or something. Hello again. Oh, just dandy. This was... My God. You got the cash? She's, de <laughs> she's definitely a prostitute. Wait, isn't this the way I came from? Oh, no, I think it was on the next tunnel. There we go. I gotta remember which way it was I came from, though. I want to say it was this way. And then left, maybe? There we go. Found it. There goes this asshole again. Get out of my way. It's you again. What's up? Shut up. Hopefully I don't blow up again. Doesn't look like anything respawned so far. Well, at least not the traps. We shall see though once we get to the part where the um, the Myalurks are. Because once that, once we get to that area, we're... Ba we basically don't have a choice, man. We're gonna have to run for it, dude, because we're probably gonna end up dying. Oh, fuck. Well, that's not good. Can I exit through here? Oh, there's a... Landmine right there. Ooh, yeah, I could. I guess there was a separate way I could have gone. The... Medesi train yard uh, Data Oh, that was kind of far we entered from here, but now we can actually fast travel to Arafu. So that's a good thing Make it a little bit quicker Hey, yo, mr. King I got some for you homeboy It's a deal There he is the hero of the day How the hell do you know everything before I even got here? It's done, Ian. The family will never bar bother you again. Yeah, I took care of that problem. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here anytime you're in this part of the wastes. 
Cool, and I got some good karma. Alright, uh, I have a proposal uh, for you from Vance. The family's letter. Interesting. Or it leader. They wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. Yay! I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Hell yeah. Any help I can provide... Any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Some scotch, that's it? Alright, later. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Yeah, you better. Go with melee again. We're definitely gonna max this. Alright, let's see. Iron Fist. You do an uh, additional 15 points of unarmed damage per rank. That's actually not bad if I was going for like a... <laughs> a fister. Um, I mean, I guess we'll do this. We don't really have another choice. Alright. We're definitely getting up there in our stuff. I need to go to sleep, dude. Can I borrow a bed? There, there is no bed I can borrow, though. Every, every one of these beds are taken. So what's the mission now? I have to go back to, uh... To old boy now, don't I? Oh wait, the mission's done. But didn't he say to come back to him? Here, let's 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 go back over there and check on him. It was in this train yard, and then after that we'll go back to Lucy and see what she has to say about the situation. Wait, how the hell do I get in there? In here? There we go. Alright, let's see what old boy has to say. Oh god, looks like we got traps again. Um, This way? Yeah, I think this is the way. Alright, let's talk to the old boy really fast. For all we know... He might give us a present for helping. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. This is the place where we came from. Crap, dude. I'm all messed up, though. Alright. Luckily, we're back to where we started. Does resting heal you? Like in a bed or something? Because I don't really want to use a stim pack. I don't even know if I have stim packs. We're almost there. Alright, let, let's check. Because I don't like to be all limp like that. I got one stim pack. Nah, I'm, I'm going to wait. Maybe I can buy some stuff over at... Uh, at Megaton. Let's see here. Yo, Vance. I talked about uh, I talked to Mr. King about facilitating that deal of yours. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? Uh, there we go. Arfu accepted your proposal, Vance. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Yeah, don't go that far, bro. If you wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Mmm. Nah, bruh. Do I even have blood packs? I can only offer my thanks. My people are getting accustomed to using these as a substitute for live prey. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. Yeah, what is he giving me? Is he not, did he not give me, oh, bottle caps? That sword looks cool. 
Alright, now let's go back to Lucy. Can I go to sleep in any of these beds? Oh, I can. Let's sleep for... Let's sleep for a day. Fuck it. That way when we wake up, hopefully, we'll be all cured and we won't have any broken bones and all that good stuff. Lucy's gonna be happy though that we that she still at least has her brother. Probably very disappointed in Ian though. Yay, I'm fully maxed health. So that's what I need to be doing, dude. I need to be sleeping more often. He wanted us to join his vampire clan. <laughs> nah, bruh. I was here to facilitate the people of Arafu. I may be an asshole to humanity. That doesn't mean I want them all to die. Just a few. Of the assholes, you know. You know how that goes. I don't know who you're talking to, guy. But I don't know if you looked outside. There's no rebuilding of a great nation right now. It's all pretty much destroyed. Alright, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here, though, so we can fast travel to Megaton. Get on out of here. This is seriously a long trek. I wonder if there was a faster way out of here. Nah, I'm not falling for that one again. I think there's a landmine right here, too. Ha, huh, nice try. Let's go. And just like that, we're out and about. Let's go ahead and... Fa where is this? Mine oh, minefield. Megaton. No, what the fuck? Fast travel. There we go. Alright, good. Let's go talk to Miss Lucy. Hopefully she has something for me. Oh my god, Sims. Shut up. Tired of hearing you. Alright, it's a little higher than this. Armory. Nope. Around this corner. I wonder if there's a faster way through here too. Get out of my way, Billy Creel. Get out of my way, Nathan. Alright, let's go. Wait, where is she? That's secure for a reason. That's not her, huh? She's gone. She probably went back to what's it called? You know what I think would be funny? Let's sell out, uh... What's his name to the sheriff? Where is he? <laughs> you! Yeah. Um... I met a man named Burke. Uh, he said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. <laughs> he gave me this fusion pulse charge to rig the bomb. Here, take it. Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in Wasteland Justice. Ooh, does that mean we get to kill him? I want to kill him. Feel his glow and be divided. I want to destroy him. Wait, where'd he go? No suffering. Or in the division, we shall see our release from the pain. Hey, wait, Lucy. Hello there. Nice to see you. I delivered the letter to Ian. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. Um, oh. I guess. Okay, well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton. Be sure and look me up. Nah, nah. I want to go kill Mr. Burke. That's what I want to do. Oh, Mr. Burke. I got a little something for you. I call it a baseball bat. I'm sure you've heard of it before. People in the old days used to play a sport with it. 
Oh my god, that's Mr. Sim's son. I wonder if he's just as obnoxious as he is. Let's go. You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megatime. Problem? I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. <laughs> Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. What the hell is that? You know what? He's trying to threaten me now. Uh. Oh God, he's pretty tough. Any moment. You can no longer receive the reward for blowing up Megaton. All right, I don't even care. You talk to me. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Don't want to have to waste good bullets on your sorry eyes. Dude, I... See, that's why I don't like Sims. I just fucking helped you, bro. Uh... Sure, why not? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. 100 caps? That's it? Uh, I don't need a reward. Shit. Actually, sheriffs, I'm planning on detonating that bomb. <laughs> All right, fuck it. I guess 100 caps is better than nothing. Wait. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. All right, let's go. Have a good one. Let's check out Mr. Burke. Silence, tell him to be your pistol. Eh, you have nothing I want. Let's go. Let me see if I could even... Shut up, Sims. Why do I even put up with you? Alright, let me see if I can actually disarm it. Uh... This is scary. All right, let's attempt to disarm the bomb. Congratulations, you successfully disarmed the bomb. Hey, I did it. Sims, you bastard. You better be nicer to me now. What's up? I'm over here thinking I was going to die. How do I get up there? Or where do I find them is the question. Sim, you sorry sheriff man slash mayor guy, dude. Where the hell are you? I got some news to report to you ASAP. Where the hell is this dude? Alright, so originally we came over here. That's him way over there, isn't it? Damn it! Sims, you bastard, I'm over here trying to freaking talk to you. Get over here. We should have just stayed in the bottom. Alright, I saw him coming down. They're up here? No. Oh my god, this Sims guy is absolutely insane. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. I mean, I don't need it. Uh, sure. Bless. I don't want to be blessed, homegirl. You, talk to me. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. It's about time you're nice Here's to me. Reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. 
you know, I, I don't really want to live here. But thank you. Bye. Take care now. I don't want to see your face all the damn time. Alright, where are we at mission wise? Quests. Um Let's go Let's go find Galaxy News Radio. But we're probably going to have to go buy some stim packs because I think I only have one left, right? Uh yeah, I got one left. And I have 171 caps, so I should be able to buy some stim packs. Hey, where did the old man go? You. You came in here on your own power, so you must not be busted up too bad. I need to buy medical supplies. Planning on going out and getting shot up, eh? Yep. Can I buy all of this? No. Cancel transaction. Let's try this again. Yeah? Alright, how many... They're 21, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... We'll, we'll try six. Nope. Damn, yeah. these things are expensive. What do you need? Oh, they're 38. I'm over here thinking they're 21. Fuck, dude. We're going to be broke after this. Yep, there we go. Yeah, we're broke as hell. All right, can I sell him some stuff? Like 10 millimeter rounds. Yes. Five five six. Yes. Um. This baseball bat. All of these grenades. And landmines. Although they did come in handy against that mire lurk. I don't do drugs. Hmm. I think we're good with this. Here, you can have the scotch and the vodka. There you go. How much money are you give me? One hundred sixty-nine bucks. You know what? One eighty-eight. I got my money back. Good. That's good for now. Yeah. Bye. You know why is everyone a dickhead in this freaking town? That's why I can't live here. All right, where are we at with time? Fifty-two minutes so far, says on my timer. We're probably going to have to call it a video right here. Let's go ahead and check how far this is, though. Uh, world map. Oh, it's not too far. We can just fast travel to the Super Duper Mart, and we're pretty much already halfway there. Literally right at the other side of the river is the halfway point to the GNR Plaza building. What is this place? Tempered Sewers? Yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that in the next video. But for now... We're definitely going to call it a video right here, right now. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.